So why did Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson break up? Well, it seems that it comes down to some completely civil stuff. Scheduling, age differences, and you'll never guess this one, different personalities were some of the reasons that the two called it quits after their nine month relationship. One source said, quote, Kim and Pete have decided to just be friends. They have a lot of love and respect for each other, but found that the long distance and their demanding schedules made it really difficult to maintain a relationship. But like I said, the couple's age difference was also likely a big part of it too. Kim and Pete are around 13 years apart, so it's not the most surprising thing. And a source confirms this saying, quote, Pete is 28 and Kim is 41. They are just in very different places at the moment. Pete is totally spontaneous and impulsive and wants her to fly to New York or wherever he is on a moment's notice. But Kim has four kids and it isn't that easy. She needs to focus on the kids. This same insider also revealed that Kim's various businesses, of which there are many, have made keeping a relationship difficult for her, saying, quote, she's totally exhausted by this relationship and other things going on in her life. But that's not to say that they were not getting along or had no chemistry. They absolutely had a lot of chemistry and anyone who's seen them together would agree with that. Yet another source, this time for Entertainment Tonight, said, quote, they had tons of chemistry and still do, but she kind of wants to be single and date. Kim still adores Pete and will always be friends with him. She still thinks he's the nicest and sweetest guy in the world and there's no drama or anything weird between them now. This source continues to say, quote, she felt like Pete was the extreme opposite of Kanye and it was good for her then. She initially thought it would be a fun fling, but then it got more serious when they were spending so much time together. Kim wasn't feeling like she was willing to settle down with him just yet. So yes, it seems like it was just the natural progression of a rebound. These things happen. There's no animosity, no real drama, and that's nice for once. I'm sure Kim feels the same way after the headache I can imagine Kanye is. Speaking of Kanye, another source seemed to hint at the fact that Kanye did indeed have a bit of a hand to play in the whole thing. Seemingly hinted at and confirmed by a source for page six when talking about how Kim wants to focus on the kids, saying quote, when Kim is with someone else, Kanye can cause problems with the kids. He tries to divide and conquer. He can't help it. Kim is a really dedicated mother and her kids will always come first. She wants and needs harmony at home and in her life. So there you have it. A nice and chill celebrity breakup. Shocking. I know. On August 8th, Kanye West released an Instagram post proclaiming that Skeet Davidson is dead on a fake New York Times backdrop. Skeet is the name that Kanye uses to refer to Pete Davidson, former SNL comedian and also now ex-boyfriend of Kim Kardashian. The post came after the most recent announcement that Kim and Pete had split after only nine months of dating and a few tattoos on Pete later. The post has now been deleted, but not before millions of screenshots captured it as proof. This would not be the first time Kanye has commented on this relationship and taking jabs at Pete. Earlier in the year, Kanye released a music video that depicts the harming of Pete, and he also shared private text messages from Kim's phone on social media. Kim allegedly said to Kanye, you are creating a dangerous and scary environment and someone will hurt Pete, and this will all be your fault. Kanye took to Instagram to follow up on this and commented, upon my wife's request, please Nobody do anything physical to ski. I'm going to handle the situation myself. He accompanied the comment with a picture from the 2001 film Baby Boy with Ving Rhames hurting Tyrese Gibson. Kanye has repeatedly threatened Pete and begged for Kim to take him back. Allegedly, Pete is now attending therapy to recover from the craziness of this situation. A source close to Pete told people that the comedian has been in trauma therapy in large part due to the many threatening posts that Kanye has posted on social media. Quote, the attention and negativity coming from Kanye and his antics is a trigger for Pete, and he's had to seek out help, the insider said. Celebs such as Trevor Noah has been trying to get Kanye's attention, reaching out and telling him that he's gone too far. Some people believe Kanye's post is yet another distraction post curated by the Kardashian clan. Kanye has been known to make dark jokes, and after publicly announcing he was going to deal with the situation himself, this post could be a sign that he has dealt with it and he is the reason they have split up. Fans have become so obsessed with the breakup of Kim and Pete and Kanye's posts and have come up with a few theories as to what is really going on. Some say Kim and Kanye are now back together and that may motivate Kanye to post something like this to implant the idea into everyone's mind that 
he won. Some say that the breakup along with Kanye's disturbing post is a distraction from the fact that Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson just had another child, something no one is talking about. The news was timed perfectly to distract everyone from Khloe's new child as people are already super hard on Khloe for forgiving Tristan and she may just want this time without the public's energy and opinion. But then of course the final theory as to why Kanye may post something like this could be due to mental illness. It became public public knowledge not too long ago that Kanye suffers from a few mental disorders including bipolar disorder and as we all can remember from Amanda Bynes tweets in 2013, another celeb who suffers from bipolar disorder, it wouldn't be within the wheelhouse of someone struggling with this disorder to say erratic things and make inappropriate remarks. As much as I am all for freedom of speech, I think it's the job of his family and team to make sure that he is okay and gets the help that he needs, even though they may be conflicted with this as this kind of behavior has become a part of his brand, sadly. On Friday, Kim and Kanye met in Los Angeles to have a conference to set up their trial in regards to their divorce. Kanye's divorce lawyer at the time was a woman named Samantha Spector, and she asked that the judge relieve her as Kanye's counsel. She said that their relationship was irretrievably broken, but she wouldn't say why that was. Samantha is known for her work with other celebrity divorces, and you can't help but wonder what happened between the two for her to decide that stepping down from the case was the best option. She had a date set to withdraw a week from now, but the judge granted her request and now Kanye is left without a lawyer. Again. The judge also decided that Kanye needs to submit his request and settle the remaining issues or the case will be going to court in December. Most people think that if Kanye continues to lose lawyers and not give his demands, Kim will probably get whatever she asked for in the case. People on Twitter have also been commenting on the situation, many people thinking that Kanye is to blame for his issues. Tweets said things like, Fifth lawyer, I'm starting to think that Kanye may be the common denominator in all of his issues, lol. And Kanye should just give Kim what she wants, smh, he's the problem. His attorneys quit just how Kim did in the marriage. Seems too he didn't dump the girlfriends he had after Kim, they dumped him. Poor guy went downhill mentally after the loss of his mother. There are at least some people though that are in defense of Kanye. One person saying, won't be shocked if the lawyer got paid off or threatened by the Kardashians. The Kardashian couldn't get the conservatorship, now they want to take his money by all means. I'm here for Kanye fighting till he gets what he wants. And no, he is not holding on to Kim, that's delusional. This being in response to some people thinking that Kanye might be holding on to his relationship with Kim and dragging the divorce out due to this. As far as their relationship goes, it would appear that the two are actually still on good terms. Despite Kim Kardashian now being with with Pete Davidson, Kim and Kanye have still been spotted together and she seems to be supporting his business endeavors. In the last few months, the two have been photographed together in what seem to be co-parenting efforts, the two most recently being caught at a basketball game that their daughter North was participating in. The same scenario taking place back in March when they both appeared at their other kids Saints soccer game. At the time those photos came out, Kanye was very vocally angry about Kim and Pete's relationship seeming to get more serious, but since then it seems that he's quieted down. Very recently, Kim also posted a photo of herself, Chicago and North all wearing Yeezy sunglasses and seeming to advertise the brand. So things between her and Kanye can't be all that terrible.